I'm here with Joe McKay, author of the book, God is Dead. All right, bestseller on the New York Times bestseller list. Actually, number one bestseller. Um, so let's go ahead and start off with some questions. You know what? Um, I have this question, you know. What I really want to know is, is this. Is, um, who really thinks God is dead? I mean, who reads your book? I mean, is it people who think God is actually dead? Or, I mean, because I certainly actually don't really know anyone who thinks that God is dead. Um, or is it people just kind of curious about what's going on in that book? I mean, I mean, do you, do you really, I mean, I know you wrote this book, but do you really, really think that there is no God? I mean, I have a hard time understanding how anyone could think that. I mean, with all, I mean, besides all the beautiful creations in the world, the flowers, the, the sun, the moon, you know, I mean, it is a blessing, I think, that, wouldn't you all agree that that is quite a blessing that we have every day, right? But yet, you say God is dead. I mean, there's never been one, just one little miracle where you were like, Wow, there had to be some kind of divine intervention that that allowed this to happen. Just one little thing. I mean, I, I mean, take it my job here today. I mean, I'm so happy to have you all here, aren't I? Hey. If I hadn't met my friend Shirley for coffee three years ago, who introduced me to her other friend Mike, and we just happened to bump into Joe, my producer. I would never have been offered this job. I mean, I have to say, praise the Lord, that there was God that was involved. No, God could not be dead. I mean, it's because of the wars that go on around the world or starvation. I mean, yes, that's horrible stuff. And maybe it goes on to those people because they don't believe in God. I mean, I know that sounds very harsh and cruel, but... I mean, I, I mean, I had friends growing up that they were Princeton professors. Actually, it was my friend's parents. They were atheists, did not believe in God at all. But you know what's funny? Now that they've gotten older, survived a few quadruple bypasses, they're rethinking the whole God is dead thing. They're thinking, maybe there is a God. You know what, I think it's because they want to make sure that when they do pass on, that if there is a God, they're going to the right place. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't believe God is dead. And I kind of feel sorry for those who do. Or maybe I'm just scared. Anyway. Wanda Wonders will be back next week. I hope you join me. <laughs> <laughs> and cut. Thank you very much.